Hi everyone, today's topic is the food combining diet and explaining what it is. This is not a traditional diet for losing weight or cutting out certain foods. It's rather a method to get more nutrition from your food in line with the body's ability to digest it. Food combining is the practice that I've been following and that brought amazing results to my nutrition and health. Why do we need food combining? The fact is that food of different nature is digested and absorbed in different parts of our gastrointestinal tract. For example, proteins are digested in the stomach with acid, carbs and fats in the small intestine, sugars begin to be absorbed in the mouth and end in the small intestine. This is all true if they are eaten separately. Otherwise, when we eat everything at once, it causes inflammation in the stomach because it is trying to separate them out while they decay, ferment and release toxins. We need to correctly combine the products so they don't interfere with each other but rather enhance digestion. Here is a simple table for food combining. There are four main groups of foods and only three of them are great combinations. Three are not good at all and others are not so good. I picked out some random things from my cupboard and I'm just going to go over with you how they are combined. Let's talk about carbs. Things like oats, rice, pasta, root vegetables, carbs combine well with fats. We are not talking about nuts and seeds here, we are talking about oils, olive oil and butter. In fact, butter in moderation is very good and important in our diet. It contains vitamins A, E, it moisturizes our skin and eyes. So I like adding a piece of unsalted butter in my porridge every morning. When it comes to protein, animal products like fish, meat, eggs, or other products like chickpeas, lentils, flax seeds, or the nuts, almonds, cashew, should not be combined with carbs. It's hard at first because those are the things we used to combine all the time and seems like our ancestors for generations have been eating this way and they've been fine. However, years ago, the food was different. They were not eating processed foods and refined sugars. There were so many things that they were not exposed to, so their gut was healthier. In these days, we stay healthier by simplifying our meals. The best way is to combine different types with vegetables such as greens, cabbage and salads. Greens go well with everything. They are an excellent side for carbs and proteins. The soft fiber in the greens helps to digest and absorb food faster. Another good combination is fat and acid. For example, salad with oil and lemon juice. Acid helps fat to break down and be well digested. Proteins and fats also combine well with the spices, ginger, garlic, onion and curry spices. They enhance digestion, helping to process food faster and remove waste from the body. And finally, fruit belongs to the separate category, as it needs to be consumed by itself. So the best way to eat fruit is in the first half of the day. I eat it first thing in the morning, half an hour before breakfast, after drinking warm water. The right nutrition is crucial for our healthy life. It reduces massively the risk of developing serious illnesses, also cancers, diabetes and many others. That's because the power of the body's immune system comes from our gut. Following the basis of the food combining gives you a great source of energy, well-being and a strong immune system.